Hello my friends, I'm still out here, I hope so are you. This is a format where we help each other to give accountability and encouragement to work on our regenerative projects. For me, this week, that meant starting to look for people to read through the first and second drafts of the lessons for the Metheria course. As you all know, feedback is the most important thing, so getting a second opinion on all of the stuff that I've written now is so important and I'm really looking forward to what other people have to say. Metheria is a course that will try to combine a mythical story arc with exercises to help you start self-reflection and build a worldview based on what you truly value and not just what everybody else around you thinks. So if you think this is a cool idea, I would love to hear your opinion as well. And if you would like to read through the first drafts, contact me. I'll have a link in the description to look at a signal group where you can get my number and write me. And I will also put the mission statement to get a little bit more of a sense of an idea of what this course is about into the description. Beyond that, the main focus this week was continuing to work on the album that I'm trying to put out in November. One more song, pretty much 90% done, so that's pretty darn exciting. But I've also really been noticing how it's been difficult that as soon as you put a deadline to remain in this creative space and keep wanting to try out new things and so on. So actually, keeping on being kind to myself and not putting too much pressure on me has been another key goal. And for me, the solution for that is meditation, meditation. So I've been doing meditation pretty much one hour every single day and had the really cool chance to go to my friends on Sunday. And we did a six hour one day meditation retreat. Plus I did another kind of four hour meditation retreat for myself yesterday, which was awesome. You can't do natural, social, whatever kind of regeneration without starting up here doing spiritual regeneration. So that was really, really valuable. One thing that I've learned this week and been really trying to apply to different parts of my life is the longer things take to build, usually the longer they last. For me, life has been pretty easy until now. I have to admit it. I have had a lot of privileges, a lot of great opportunities. So really knowing that hard work pays off in the long end is something that I've not experienced really in my own life. Of course, you hear it all the time, but it's always something different to really experience it yourself. Learning this lesson and realizing, well, yeah, the longer it takes to build muscle mass, the longer it'll last afterwards. Even though steroids can be a shortcut, as soon as you stop doing your exercises, poof, stuff is gone. Same thing with building a habit. The longer it takes you to build the habit, the more difficult it is, the longer it'll last you in the long run once you're not putting super great effort into maintaining it or trying to build a culture around something. The longer it takes to build that culture, the more deeply ingrained this is into the social fabric and the longer it'll last as soon as the factors involved in creating it are not there anymore. I think this is really interesting and have found it very useful in getting through that part where you're just kind of slugging through and then also seeing the value and how it creates something for the long term. I hope you're still out there. Write your progress for this week into the comments to get encouragement and accountability. Keep it up. See you next week.